Good morning, everyone. This is the installation video to uh, my blown 22R head gasket. So uh, let me give you the breakdown. Um, what ended up happening was is that my old 22R head was warped. And for the price that they were going to uh, rebuild the entire head, because I guess it had a couple of burned out valves and it had been serviced because my friend built, my friend's dad built the uh, the other head and I guess it had been serviced a couple of times so he probably had some leftover, some used heads and resurfaced them and re rebuilt them or maybe used valve stems and valves that had already been used and he just ground, you know, had them serviced and ground down and whatnot so I'm almost positive those were, there were used parts in that other head so they said that a couple of them had been ground down to the max and so you I'd, I would have had to get new valve stems and valves and everything like that the uh, springs and everything like that so and I had one exhaust bolt I think it's this one right here was uh, stripped out and so they wanted for that for the price they wanted to um, basically take my exhaust or what is it helicoil this bolt on the other head and then rebuild it and the price that they wanted was actually more expensive than this rebuilt head that I just I bought from them so I mean not rebuilt it's brand new everything's brand new um, this is all brand new head they were able to get me a great deal on it and it came with the camshaft so I mean everything's it was just a freaking unit so I'm happy that I was able to get that deal because I mean look at it's nice it's new everything like that so um, and not only that the, for that awesome price that they got me I got a whole um, like complete my friend's dad just came over right now and checked out them the head and he's a mechanic and he said this is one of the most complete gasket sets he's ever seen usually they don't come with a lot of this stuff and a couple of the items that he was mentioning was is not not only because this is a gasket set for everything and it's funny that they give me valve stem seals but they already are in there <laughs> so i mean like i said this is a complete gasket it even came with a thermostat this these are the grommets for the uh, valve cover but it also came with thermostat uh, gasket um a gasket for your uh your oil cap and then i, I think this he said a distributor o-ring is in here too so i mean he was pretty impressed at how uh advanced this gasket set was so i mean this comes with everything no matter what you have I was impressed with it. It all came with for a great price. So um, I'm just about to put this on. Now let me show you what I did. Okay, so there is the head, the block. And what I did was I cleaned it out as best as I did I could. I went over it with my finger, made sure everything was scraped off. You know, I might have to go over it a little bit more, but my personal opinion I think it's good enough so um, you can see the chain is still marked still at the very tight top position so when I position this sprocket over the dowel on the camshaft when it's at the 12 o'clock position it'll be perfectly in mark because it's still at top dead center so um, now what I didn't do is is that you have a tightening sequence that you do these bolts and um, you want to do it at four stages. And you want to get a good um, torque wrench. Otherwise, you, you don't want you don't want a cheap torque wrench. You want to do a nice torque wrench. So, so when you put the the gasket on this block, you don't want to use any sealant. The only time you want to use sealant is right here, along the timing chain, or I mean, along the timing cover right here, basically at the top. And so um, you only use sealant right here. I gotta make sure that this is nice too. So you use sealant all right here on the other side right here. And um, you don't use sealant on the rest of the block. You just use that right there. So it's about ready to go on. Block's about ready to go on. I'm a little scared, but you know, gotta get it done. Um, I made sure that all those bolt holes were clean. You had to clean I, I had to clean out all the oil and everything that was in those bolt holes so um, that was important so 
because it can give you a false reading if you don't. So let me give you guys the, we'll go to the Haynes manual. Go to the Haynes manual. And let's go to where it needs to be. I just flipped it. I'm glad I, I guess I have this page marked down with all the grease. So uh, this is the, those were the cylinder head loosening sequences. It's pretty much exactly the reverse for the cylinder head installation. So there's the cylinder head installation. Hope this thing focuses on it. It's able to. And um, your cylinder head installation, you want to make sure that the, uh, the surfaces of both of these, obviously it's brand new, so it's going to be very, very clean. Just got to make sure that some of the grease on my hands and wipe it off on this top edge, but I don't think they're on the bottom. So, um, I uh, basically wanted to attach everything that I couldn't because this is at the very back firewall and it's a pain in the ass to get to. So I just attached it right now. And um, because of the fact that this all, I mean, spark plugs can get, uh, what was it, stripped out. That's what happened with my other head. It had a stripped spark plug hole and I uh, rechased it the weekend before the head blew out. So, um, Basically, now I, those spark plugs are in, they're tightened down, and because um, they're easier to put in when the head's out. You know what I mean? You just thread them in nicely. You're not sitting there hanging over the uh, engine bay. So, there we go. And I will update you guys when this thing is on. What's up, everybody? Um. It's all useless, didn't need any of that, just need the tightening sequence, head bolt tightening sequence, because I was able to get it all together by myself, thank god. Um, let me put this up here, no you know here it is, but up here somewhere, so I'll just stare at it. There's the head. The head's on, rocker arm assembly was on, that was a pain in the ass to get on because of those heater core. <laughs> Or they had, because of those heater hoses. Um, yeah, but I was able to get it down. Um, okay, first off, uh, the information about what was up. Um, I cleaned the head, or the, you know, the block as easy, or as better, much as I could. And, um, you know, made sure that it was all smooth, cleaned up. And then uh, I put the head gasket down, because there's dowels on the block. So, I mean, it all just sits right down on there. And, uh, well, before they put the head gasket down, I put some sealant on uh, the timing, where the timing cover is, because that's what it calls for. It says right there where those two circles are. That's where you want to put the sealant. But it was recommended to me to put the sealant all around the timing cover right there. So I put that down on there, and then um, put the gasket down. Um, before I put the gasket down, I thought I'd share that I did use some copper spray gasket just a light coat um, it was recommended to me by a friend uh, improves heat transfer and uh, I did use that so I just thought I'd add that in there and um, set the block down on top and once the block was down on top I basically just um, put the rocker arm assembly on there and uh, it, the rocker arm assembly has these dowels on this side, or the intake side, and um, it, they sit down on them, on the, the head, I mean, I apologize, the head has these dowels on the intake side, and they sit down right on top of them, the rocker arm assembly sits down right on top of them, but you'll hit the springs, and it, um, I didn't know if they sat down completely or not, and so if it, rec it was recommended to me to use a rubber hammer and tap down on it just to get them to seat on there, and then when you torque it down, it'll they'll compress the spring slightly so um, yeah this is where it's at right now and um, I'll tell you how I go how it goes okay here's the old block and uh, I forgot about all the lugs yeah I thought it was all going in easy all oh, yeah everything's cool but no those lugs, yeah, you have to have them in a new block. 
and uh, that would have been a lot easier when I put it on before I put it on but you know sometimes you forget but I'm glad that they were able to give me back my old uh, block because it had all the lugs on it because this one didn't you know I don't want to or these things right here the studs I'm sorry I apologize this misrepresent studs The studs right here are what um, I needed because this thing didn't come with them, obviously. It was just a block with everything installed. And here's the, it's all torqued down. Everything's uh, good. I'm just gonna fill it up with oil right now. Um, okay, well, it's because of the fact that uh, I gotta inform everybody then all these bolts were torqued down to uh, 58 foot-pounds I guess that's what it said in the uh, Haynes manual and in the sequence that it said on the book and um, this thing right here was a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of pain to get on there because of the fact is, is that you had to um, rock the pulley bolt back and forth to get the uh, chain to loosen up up here and then once you slid it on you had to slide all this assembly on and then the bolt and screw it in real quick and then the once that was done well because I mean this is where it was on when I got it took it off I'm almost positive yeah it wasn't directly enough but it was on this side yep so that's the new one uh, gasket sealed I hope this is all just going off of uh, what I can do I guess so let me get more studs out put them in oh and that was the reason why I started this video uh, apparently these studs were actually, um, I'm pretty impressed because these are in the, the exhaust manifold and, uh, the, the previous owner, which is the guy I bought it from, he, he knew that these things weren't going to seize. He made sure that everything, every bolt he put in this block did not seize at all, did not come out. It was all amazing. Anyway, before I started taping, it started coming out easy and that's why I got the video but what ends up happening is, is that you have to have the two bolts together tight against each other and it just takes out that stud so yep I'm gonna do that with all the studs I think that was, was this one and that one so um, basically the two bolt method is is that you tighten them against each other and then you rotate the bottom one and you can see that it rotates the stud out so that's what I'm gonna do right now and take out all these studs and put them exactly where they're at on the block so yep morning everybody um, the new heads on and pretty much I'd say about 85% of everything's hooked up. Haven't hooked up the alternator yet. Haven't gotten the belts on yet or the uh, fan clutch. But she's a top dead center. You can see down there, top dead center. And um, I want to do a uh, valve lashing before I put the uh, valve cover on. And that's what I'm going to do next. But I. I'm draining the oil right now and I don't want to do a valve lashing and even move that motor without brand new oil in there because that oil was nasty. So, um, you can see everything's bolted up. I moved the studs from the old head to the new head. So, on this side as well. Moved the studs from the old head to the new head and on this side. So, um, everything's okay. I'm about to take off that oil filter replace it and then run to the store and get some oil and some coolant because I don't have either of those 
So my, if, if there, there's no oil in the coolant, then I might just replace the coolant. But if there's, if I can tell that there's oil in the coolant when I drain it, then I'm gonna have to do a whole flush. Just sit there and flush it out. And then, you know, fill it up with coolant again. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And um, I should have this all, I mean, this shouldn't take me very long. This should take me like three or four hours at the most. I have to go grab some new uh, spark plugs, spark plug wires, because um, spark plug wire, one of them messed up. I didn't put grease on it before, I guess, or something, where the grease wore out, and uh, it was stuck on there, and when I pulled it off, the little metal thing was on the spark plug. So, you know, lifetime warranty. That's what you got to do. You just take them all back, and they give you new ones. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And once that's all connected and everything's all up and running, I should be able to... Uh, to start this and then I have to put the new carburetor on that's a little sketched because I don't know if it's set at the factory or not it should be it should be able to fire up because I have a tuning option but that the, the engine has to be warm so um, kind of worried about that but anyway um, if it doesn't work then I can just always slap the other one on it's not a big deal and um, yeah that's where I'm at right now so Breaking her in. Sounds a little noisy. I'll probably have to take off the valve cover and um, re-gap the valves again. Now that they're hot. So, I should do that right now. I don't want to, but I should. It'll take me an hour and I'll be freaking here out all night. So, I'll just uh, let it you know, purr like that a little bit more. Then I'll rev it for 20 minutes. So, um, I'm not sure if there are any leaks. I don't think so. There was leaking, uh, <laughs> my dumb ass forgot to put on a sealant on the intake side and it started leaking when I first started it up. And so now I put sealant on this side now and now it's not leaking. So. I had to wait a few hours for the sealant to set. So, there we go. Brand new head. Doesn't seem like she's uh, running too rough. I mean, I don't know. I gotta break it in, and then once it's all broken in, I don't know. So, I'm gonna tune the carburetor. The, the uh, Timing's all been set. I'm gonna tune the carburetor if I can find the paperwork for it, and then that's it for the night. It runs. So.